Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Recently I had the chance to test drive the 1.6 liter hybrid Hyundai Elantra. Very interesting vehicle and under the hood we've got a complete tour of all of the technical features, what's under there and all of the do-it-yourself maintenance service points. The Hyundai Elantra Hybrid is powered by a 1.6 liter Atkinson cycle four-cylinder gasoline engine and an electric motor integrated into its six-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The engine and electric motor combined produce 139 total system horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. In our 2022 Elantra Hybrid Limited, it's rated by the EPA at 49 MPG City, 52 MPG Highway, and 50 MPG combined. The base blue model is rated higher at 53 miles per gallon city, 56 miles per gallon highway, and 54 MPG combined, a difference mostly attributed to its smaller tire width. The engine itself is composed of an aluminum block and head with variable valve timing. Electrical power is provided from a 240 volt 1.32 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack mounted underneath the rear seat, along with a 12 volt accessory battery in the same location. Thus, you won't find a 12 volt battery here in the engine compartment. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the front just above the radiator and makes its way into a cleverly designed intake plenum and filter assembly mounted atop the engine itself. Air then travels down to the plastic composite intake manifold just below it at the front of the engine. Once the combustion process is complete, the exhaust exits at the rear of the engine directly into the catalyst assembly. Doing your own service and maintenance on the Elantra Hybrid is much like any other car. The first and most important item of note is that you should avoid handling the bright orange high voltage wiring associated with the electric drive and control system. If you don't know what you're doing and mishandle these components, you can be killed. That aside, you can find the engine coolant reservoir at the passenger side of the engine compartment seen by its bright pink coolant. Just ahead of that on the passenger side is the windshield washer fluid reservoir. Checking the engine oil is done nearby at the passenger side front of the engine the bright yellow dipstick highly visible. The oil filler cap is located nearby at the top of the engine. Of note, changing the oil filter has to be done from below the car. The air filter on the other hand is mounted on top of the engine. You can see our separate video link below in the information section on how to replace it. The brake fluid reservoir is found at the driver's side rear of the engine compartment. Notable is that the Elantra Hybrid uses an electronically controlled brake system instead of a traditional power booster and cylinder. Nearby is the engine ECU and to its right the main fuse box where you can also find the main 12 volt access point. Here Hyundai has provided a handy fuse removal tool. Now if you're looking for a place to jumpstart the Elantra Hybrid, read your manual first regarding the 12 volt reset button and procedure. Lastly, the cooler reservoir for the high voltage electrical control systems can be found at the driver's side front of the engine compartment. It uses the same coolant as the engine and can be topped off and managed much the same. All right, my friends, there you go for our full underhood tour of the 2022 Elantra Hybrid. Very unique under the hood of this car. Now you can see our complete test drive review right there. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel, TDTV Garage, right there. Either way, stay tuned.